Hi, I'm Robert Martin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get lower body flexibility. I'm going to show you a stretch that will hit various joints from your feet up through your legs and even into your lower back. Now, if you can't get into the position that I'm going to show you here uh, right away, that's okay. Be realistic about your current level of flexibility. Go with where you are and work on it a little bit each day and you will get there. So here's what we do. This foot is going to be flat down on the floor and this leg is going to be extended out. Now, notice my heel is flat on the floor and my calf is on the floor over here. Again, if you're, if you're up in here somewhere, if you can't get back down in there yet, don't worry about it. You'll get there. Now, my shoulder, I want to be low down, as low as I can get it inside of this knee. And then I'm going to push out with my shoulder against that knee. And then I'm going to bring the stretch over into the center. As soon as I move it there, I can feel the stretch move more into this area here, on, in the tendon of the groin here. And next I want to transfer it back into the hamstring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to support my weight behind me with my back hand. You can't see it, but I'm up on my fingertips here. Do not sit back down on the floor. Keep your weight up and forward. It enhances the stretch in here. And then I'm going to grab my toes with my front hand, and I'm going to put my nose down onto my knee. Now when I change sides, I like to put a little bit of a, a balance element into it as well. So rather than support myself with my hands, I'm not going to touch the floor with my hands. I'm going to keep my hands forward and my weight forward and my hands up. And I'm just going to transfer from one side to the other, balancing just on my feet in between the two positions. Now that I'm over here, again this heel is flat on the floor. This calf is down on the floor. Shoulder down low inside your knee. Press out with that knee. Bring the, bring the stretch over into the center, transfers it over into the groin area. Now I'm going to transfer it to the hamstring, support myself back there up on my fingertips, grab my toes with my front hand, put my nose down on my knee. Okay, there you go. Do that back and forth from side to side three or four times each way and you will get lower body flexibility. You'll hit lots of joints that way. You know, I just thought of something. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you a bonus here. I'm going to give you another stretch. If you have problems uh, with tight hamstrings, if you can't touch your toes, or even better than that, if you can't sit on the floor with your knees straight and grab your toes and pick your heels up off the floor like that, you've got tight hamstrings. I'm going to show you how you can get around that. Here's what you do. From a standing position, what you're going to do is go down as far as you can. Let me do this sideways just so you, so you can see better. You're going to go down as far as you can. Now, obviously, I'm, I've got good flexibility here. But if you're up in here, if you can't reach down and touch your toes, don't worry about it. Again, be re realistic about where, where you are and uh, start from where you are. Now, from this position, if I'm up here and I can't go any lower, what you're going to do is you're going to clench your fists together and at the same time, you're going to clench your glutes together. Imagine squeezing a coin between your glutes. And then you're going to count to five. So while your fists and your glutes are squeezed, you're going to count. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. And then when you release, you will drop down at least an inch lower than you were. So once you've dropped down, stay there. Again, clench your fists and your glutes. Squeeze. One two, three, four, five, and you will go lower again. Now eventually you'll get down to where you can put your palms on the floor next to your feet with your knees straight and put your face in your knees. Now that's good flexibility folks and remember I am 61 years old. You can have this going on. My strength to body weight ratio is unusually good. My flexibility obviously is very good. My cardio, my heart and lungs, my cardio fitness are very good. My diet is clean as a whistle. You can get all of this going on and, and learn how to do this. You just need to have the right information. Here, you know what? Let me show you a couple other things here real quick while we're at it. Now, if you are working both strength and flexibility at the same time, you'll be able to do stuff like this. without difficulty. Now you should be able to do it to both sides. That was right leg in first. Here's left leg in first. And again, if you are working uh, strength right along with your flexibility, you'll be able to do stuff like this. 
And let's see where I, how I can do this so you'll be able to see what's going on. Uh, you'll be able to do stuff like this. Check this out. And without falling down, stuff like this. Okay. And remember, 61 years old. <laughs> you can get this happening. Strength, good cardio, flexibility. You can have all of it. You just need the right information, and I got the information. Go to lookgreatnakedatnyh.com. I'll teach you how to do all this stuff. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Make it a great day.